guys welcome back okay i've been sitting here staring at this palette for a good 30 minutes just <sighs> it's gorgeous it is gorgeous okay but i don't know what i'm gonna do with this okay this is the new huda beauty mercury retrograde palette and i said i wasn't getting this because it looks a little light, looks a little ashy, looks a little dusty, but <laughs> this palette is gorgeous, okay? The packaging just took me out and I just, look. I'm proud of myself though, because this is the only palette that I bought during the Sephora sale, okay? Hello, I bought this palette and a powder and that's it, so I ain't tripping, okay? But yeah, this packaging is like, ugh is so pretty i mean i just really love the kind of it's like clear but lavender shaded plastic it's just you know very hard mirror in here a very nice mirror of course but these are the shadows in this palette and what made me go ahead and decide to get it was because i know i can work with these down here even this blue up here as far as mattes go so i'm okay with that you know if i need a nice transition or something i have this and this even this lavender here actually in this you know what i can work with a good amount of this palette now that i'm sitting here looking at it but i'm really really excited about the shimmers of course because these beautiful shimmers are just hello <laughs> so yeah this is a palette i've been staring at for the past 30 minutes like what am i gonna do with this but anyways enough jaw jacking okay i'm gonna go ahead and get some swatches going I think I'm going to swatch all the shimmers together and then all the mattes together so you can take a look at that. And then we will prep our lids and move into this look. These are all of the beautiful kind of shimmery type shades in this palette. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. I definitely want to go in with this one and this one for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, let me swatch these mattes right quick and then we'll move into this look. So these are all the matte shadows in the palette and they're very soft to the touch. I mean, they feel very, very nice and all I can describe them is it's soft. It's not like buttery or rich or anything. They're just really nice and soft. And as you can see, nicely pigmented to be pastels. So, um, I don't know. I think I'm kind of, kind of looking forward to seeing what I can do. So let's go ahead and get these lids prepped. I'm gonna use some of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer on my lids and then we'll jump right in. Okay, you guys, so I was gonna start out with the purple, but honestly, I think I wanna start out with this beautiful light teal shade here. So I think I'm gonna go in with that in my crease. I'm just curious to see how much pigmentation I can get out of this pastel teal shade. So I'm just going in and really building it up so it'll be nice and opaque. Okay. You're showing up on your girl. <laughs> Very nice. And as you guys see, I really don't use like a super white base. I really only use a super white base just whenever I feel like it, quite honestly. Which <laughs> most of the time I don't feel like it. So I think for this to be showing up, you know, just on my Too Faced um, concealer, I'm happy about that. Okay, next I want to go ahead and go into this shade here in my inner and outer corners. I think I wanna try and do a halo eye today. Okay. 
Okay, so that's nicely pigmented as well. I did have to go in and just build it up a bit to get it to this nice deep pigmentation, but it looks pretty good. And I'm just gently going in because I don't want those two colors to turn into brown. I want them to stay true to their color without you know them muddying up. So I'm just going in really gently trying to make sure I keep that blue blue. Okay, so for a base for my halo eye in the center area, I think I want it to be dark. So I'm going to go in with the darkest shade in the palette, <laughs> which would be this shade here, and just tap a little bit of that on my lid. And on top of that, I'm gonna go in with some of this here. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in with any concealer or anything, obviously, because I made my lid dark. But I do want to, yeah, this one here. I do wanna go in with this shade here and just put some of that in the center of my lid and see how it looks. And I am going to spray my brush because I don't wanna play no games, play no games. It's really, really pretty. It's like a very, very fine glitter. Very, very fine glitter. That's pretty. Very pretty. So I think just to deepen up the outer edges where that glitter is, I'm going to go back into this dark shade here and just kind of tap it right next to the glitter. Okay, so let me go ahead and throw on some black eyeliner. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild today, and then we'll move on to the face. Okay, so eyeliner is on. I went in pretty big and bold today. <laughs> I thought with this retrograde eye look, it was warranted. So let's go ahead and move on to the face. And for primer today, I'm going to use my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And for foundation today, I wanna use my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. And for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 11. So to set my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Pressed Powder.
Now I'm going to go in and set the rest of my face with my Too Faced um, powder foundation in the color Spiced Rum. Now I'm going to bronze up a little bit with my Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer. I'm trying not to bronze too much because I have a new face palette or face trio that I would like to try out today. It's the new Patricia Bright one. Okay, so like I was saying, this is the new Revolution and Patricia Bright collab face palette. I finally got it in the mail. I had to order this separately from Makeup Revolution because they didn't have them on the Ulta website when they came out with her eyeshadow palettes. So I went ahead and ordered it from the Revolution website. This one is Dusk Till Dawn. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute tin packaging, like just like the palettes. Open her up and you have a cute little mirror inside. It has a highlighter, a contour, and a blush. So we're gonna try all of these out today. So since I typically don't really do contour anymore, not like I used to, I'm kind of nervous about, <laughs> and it looks, pretty pigmented, but I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to have too much contour. Don't do me dirty, Patricia. Don't do me dirty. I don't even know if I remember how to contour since I don't really do it. I just throw bronzer all over my face and go on about my business. <laughs> Okay, so I can see that. I can see that. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. And I like that color because it's dark, but it's not super duper gray. That's kind of why I don't like doing contour too much because I know it needs to be gray to cast a shadow and I just don't like that gray look on my face. this dark okay so yeah that's a very nice contour it deepened me up I put a little bit too much on my forehead but you can at least see the color or see what the darkest one looks like on my skin tone so it's not bad very nice okay so let's go into this blush shade and this is what she looks like very pretty, she looks deep and rich, so I'm going to take it easy. And just tap. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty, I really, really like that color. That's gorgeous. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try out the highlight. Okay, hello. <laughs> and this highlighter is like straight up gold. It's not like yellow gold, but it's gold. Very pretty though. That is really pretty. On the bridge. So, first impression this palette is nice, very pigmented, and easy to use. So, very nice. Okay, you guys, so back to the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this Kiss Professional Purple Eyeliner for my lower lash line. Now going back into the palette, 
I'm going to go into this dark shade here and just use some of that to smoke out just below that purple. Ooh, I guess it's gonna be a real smoky kind of day. <laughs> Now for my inner corner, I've actually been dying to use one of these. I purchased these eye lights from BH Cosmetics a while ago and I got these really pretty colors. This is like a teal color and I also got this kind of like bluey purple color. So, oh, which one, which one? Hmm, dang it. Ooh, it's kind of tricky. I'm going with this one. I was going to go in with the teal, but this is really pretty. So I'm going to go in with this one. So I'm just going to take a little bit off of the applicator. Oh, that's pretty. You know, we buy these things and then forget to use them. <laughs> so here, since I'm doing a space age look today, why not, right? I'm just tapping it because I want it to stay right there, right there in the inner corner. I feel just like some kind of 70s dance queen or something. <laughs> Doing a whole lot with these eyes, okay? So now I need to go in with some mascara. So I'm just going to put on some of my Thrive Mascara. Okay, for lips today, I think I wanna go purple. So I'm going to use that same liner that I used on my eyes to line my lips. And I'm going to go in with one of my Juvia's Place lipsticks that I got. This one is matte, I believe. I have a metallic one and a matte one. So I'm gonna go in with this matte one. This lipstick is very comfortable. Just gliding on like nobody's business, okay? <laughs> very, very comfortable. Very pretty, Juvia's Place. Uh-oh, you guys, I think I'm about out. I think I am out. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get something out of this mug though. Oh good. <laughs> Even though I do have a backup, but still. Okay you guys, so this is the final look for this Huda Mercury Retrograde palette, this gorgeous palette here. So what do we think you guys? Let me know in the comments. Is it brown girl friendly? what y'all think <laughs> i like it i do i like it these colors popped more than i expected them to on my little chocolate skin okay so i'm very happy i got it hopefully this little uh tutorial try on was helpful if you're thinking about picking this up sorry i didn't do it before the sale ended because i got it like on the last day of the sale <laughs> So anyways, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you had fun hanging out with me while I created this Mercury retrograde look. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles.